I love a very brute sort of hero. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, I'm doing a historical romance recommendation video. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys would probably not know, but last year I've done so many of these historical romance recommendation videos. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I do have a playlist on my main channel page. So go check it out if you guys want recommendations for historical romance for certain specific tropes. But I am back. I am back with some recommendations because I've been reading a lot of historical romance lately more than I did before in the first half of this year and I have a lot of books that I want to talk about and recommend you guys to check out to read. Now for this trope I'm specifically talking about a type of hero that is known for more of his brawn than for his brain or so these types of heroes like to think that they're not as smart as they are. They kind of look at themselves and they think that they're no good except for the muscle mass and it usually has our hero in kind of just like teaching him and telling him that he is definitely smarter than he thinks he is and he is lovable regardless of how intelligent he is compared to our heroine. So let's start with some recommendations. So I think the first book that I want to talk about is actually the book that inspired me to make this recommendation video. And it's actually this one called Tall, Duke, and Dangerous by Megan Frampton. And now this one essentially follows our hero who is a duke and he has lived his life very nicely because he has a lot of money, he has a lot of property, he has a title, there's a lot of respect that he has among society members. But what ends up happening is that his family tells him that he's actually born a bastard and he's stripped away of all his fortune and his title and everything unless he can marry someone. And so he's on this quest to go find a girl who can give him money and to hopefully restore his lifestyle back because he's so used to this playboy lifestyle. The problem is, is that our hero comes from not... A very nice upbringing. His father was abusive and his mother was always willing to go back to his father even though his father kept hurting his mother and so it's not a really good childhood as you can tell. Our hero believes that his future is going to look a lot like his father and that he has this burning anger within him and he thinks that he has these anger management issues. So he doesn't want to marry anybody because he's scared that he's going to subjugate his future wife to his anger issues that are sure to be lurking underneath him. And so in walks our heroine who just so happens to be his best friend's younger sister and they don't really like each other. It's kind of like enemies to lovers but he is always trying to keep an eye out for her because he's worried about her all the time because they're close friends with the family members so he reluctantly follows her around while she is in the season and she is looking at prospects and so she helps him tame his ways and he protects her because there are a lot of suitors who want her hand in marriage because she has a lot of money for her dowry so this is the romance between our two characters and I really enjoyed this book because there were so many moments where our hero chose to use muscle over his brains and it's not like particularly violent it's just that he just has this kind of like brute behavior where he does actions first and thinks later and then our heroine is just kind of like watching him on the sidelines going like why did you have to do that I had everything under control you are so annoying and it's very cute it's so funny and quirky at some moments in this book and I highly recommend you to check this one out if you guys haven't already the next book that I want to talk about is All of the Duke I Need by Caroline Linden now Caroline Linden is a author that I just started reading I think last year and I really enjoy her writing I'm still working through her backlist titles but this one happened to come out this year already and I talked about this book in one of my recent videos but essentially our hero comes from like the working class and because he comes from the working class he understands that the need to protect workers and to make sure that workers are comfortable and make sure that workers are safe when they're doing the jobs and they have the respect that they need. He's hired for our heroine's 
um, estate for planning like and gardening and making sure that the house is kept up to standard and that he's repairing any damages. And he's basically a blue collar type of employee. So he cares more about like the physical actions rather than like, you know, restrictive society code for what men should do in the drawing room and things like that. And it's only until he realizes that maybe he is not a blue collar all along and maybe he actually has a title attached to his name does he start to realize that he has a lot of things that he needs to learn and needs to take care of as well and our heroine is kind of born into the upper class and she views him as you know a servant or just someone that is below her but she never really looks down at him for his upbringing in fact, she admires him because of how caring he is and how thoughtful he is of others. So that's where their romance blossoms. And I really enjoyed this one too as well because I love seeing a capable man who cares more about other people than his own title and what it actually means for himself and how it benefits himself. The next book that I want to recommend is this one from Maya Rodell called Lady Claire is All That. Now this series is called Keeping Up with the Cabin Dishes and this is book number three. But if you guys didn't know, this series from Maya Rodell is actually based on 2000s romantic comedy movies and I don't know which this one is based on but I just know that like the first and the second book are based on specific uh, 2000 romantic movies so this one follows our heroine who's actually really smart she really likes math she really likes science she wants to pursue careers that you know women in her time and age don't normally do and so she is often criticized by society because she is too bright for her um, well-being and things like like that but our hero who is more brawn than muscle acts physically before he speaks is very attracted to her for her brain and he always supports her no matter what even though society criticizes her for doing things that normal ladies don't do and our hero is actually a fighter so what he does is that he fights people and people make bets and then if he wins then he gets money and things like that so obviously they kind of come from very two opposite sides and it's an opposites attract romance that I really enjoyed because our hero often at times questioned his intelligence and he always kind of felt that maybe he wasn't right for her and that maybe it was just like this insane chemistry and it wouldn't lead to anything other than chemistry and he always questioned himself and he always wondered like maybe he's not good enough for her but she ends up falling head over heels in love with him. The next book that I want to recommend is a book that I did recommend a lot last year when I was doing these historical romance recommendation videos and this one's called Third Sense of Charm by Shanna Galen and this one is a bodyguard historical romance and essentially follows our hero who had a very very dark childhood grew up to become an assassin soldier type of special agent for the crown and now he has retired from the army but he is working as a bodyguard and he gets hired by our heroine's father who wants to keep his daughter in line because his daughter is very mischievous causes a lot of trouble keeps running away from the house keeps trying to like marry off this like guy who is totally not right for her and so our hero is hired to keep her inside the house and to keep her away from this guy who is basically trying to just take her money and run away with it. So our hero only thinks that his physical attributes are like the only good thing about him and he often doesn't think too highly of himself because if I remember correctly he actually struggles with communication like reading and writing. He was never really taught that and then our heroine notices and realizes this so she doesn't make fun of him. Instead she sits down and helps him and teaches him how to read and how to write and it's like this very sweet tender romance between these two characters who he thinks that he's not worthy of her simply because of his class meanwhile she is like you are the perfect person for me really enjoyed this romance it was one of my favorite romances last year highly recommend you to check it out if you guys haven't read it already and then i think the last book that i want to recommend you guys to read is this one called the rogue to ruin by vivian lorette so this is once again an enemies to lovers romance and opposites attract romance essentially our heroine works with her family in this matchmaking agency and she thinks that her business is going to do a lot better if 
the business in front of her business, like the shop, would just not exist. And our hero owns that shop in front of her shop. And our hero owns essentially like a fighting den. So lots of guys kind of just go over there and just like put their dukes up and then they just fight and then they make bets, they drink, they're loud. You know, they're the opposite of our heroine who is very put together. She cares about running a very nice business that has a business model of just helping people have their happily ever afters. So these two characters constantly bicker back and forth on the street about how their businesses are foolish and you know they have like these little jabs that they're seeing against each other and things like that. And our hero owns the fighting den so obviously he does get physical a lot and he is the complete opposite of our heroine who is you know highly educated and is running a proper business. It's really up to them to get over the initial things that really bothered them and then you know they submit to their chemistry and they submit to their love for each other so it was really cute i really like but anyways that is it for all my recommendations for you for heroes that are of a brute character they act before they think and they tend to think that they are not worthy of our heroines when they clearly are hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again later in a new one bye